All right, guys, Ryan Schaefer here. Listen, I wanted to shoot a quick video for you today on some local warm market marketing, how to get referrals, grow your product sales. Now, lately, I've had some great success, really increased my product sales by doing something that's pretty simple, and that is getting referrals by sharing success stories. See, a lot of times what happens, and it took me forever to figure this out, was a lot of times that we share our business first, or we approach, you know, our friends, our family, our, our local Walmart, you know, we did what we were told when we first got into the business, which was, you know, you make a list, you talk to your friends and your family, and then immediately, what happened? Well, a lot of times you get shut down, people say no, because they just don't want anything to do with the business, or network marketing, or, or whatever the reason is, but it's usually along those lines, and then, of course, you understand where are you going to get your leads after that, you're asking yourself that question. But a lot of times people don't even really know what your business does. And that's something that, like I said, took me a while to realize and I've gotten very specific with the stories and the furrows that I go after and it's really changed my business. I've had uh, two or three people, new customers join the last couple weeks by using this strategy and it's growing my network as well because I'm focusing on the value that I'm providing to people. So let me give you an example. All right, and you want to be quick with these. So you're you're talking to you know one of your friends, and this can even be somebody that you talked to about your business before. But you want to be specific in targeting certain types of individuals. Not not I you know help everyone. You know that's not very general. I help everyone that's has kids. That's not specific enough. So let me give you an example. You're talking to somebody and say, listen, listen, Bob, I've been working uh, with a mom lately, single mom, and she was having trouble losing weight, and we helped her, we showed her a product or a technique, showed her a way to lose 15 pounds. She lost 15 pounds, two inches in one month. Or, you know, I'm working with this guy that's a stressed out father of three, and he really wanted to save some money on his cell phone. And I did it. I, I cut his bill in half. Couldn't be happier. Do you know anybody else that you think might want to save some money on their cell phone bill? Okay. Does that make sense? So whatever business that you're in, you know, obviously you're going to have to cater it to that, whether it's health and wellness, energy, uh, cell phones, you name it. The thing is, you have success stories in your business. And if you don't, if you're just getting started, then, you know, talk to your upline and find out their stories. Find out some success stories from them. Because I guarantee you that you will find something in common with other people that you know. You can also use this for occupation. Uh, so, you know, you know, I know um, somebody that is, you know, a carpenter that's tired all the time. And we found a solution for him. And he couldn't be happier. He wrote me a note the other day, endorsement letter. It was awesome. Something like that. And, and then ask them who else they know along those lines. Who else is a builder, a carpenter, a plumber? You know, what you're doing is actually fueling their brain and triggering something in them to help get referrals for you. And the other thing that this does is it helps legitimize your business to these people. They say, oh, well, he's helping other people. You know, that sounds like more of a real business than I thought it was, right? And that's exactly what you want. And then you have to remember, please, please, please do not pitch the person you're talking to, okay? You want them to know that you don't need them in your business. What you want is other people that are interested. So you're not pitching everybody about your business, you're trying to grow it by helping people with whatever it is you do. So whether it's health and wellness, whether it's energy, cell phones, you name it, whatever it is. So that's why you're focusing on the value and the success stories that you've already created or that other people in the company have already created to trigger something in somebody else. And they, and they can in turn help you grow their business. If they like you, they'll probably help, especially if they think that you can help people and maybe even they're sneakily trying to see what kind of business you're running through somebody else. You know, they suggest you to that person. You have to approach them then like a professional that you take your business seriously. Show them that you take your business seriously. And keep moving. Keep growing your network along these lines. So guys, I want to make sure that you know, keep it quick that there's no guarantee that you'll get any references, but I would say that most of the time, people that like you, respect you, will help you out here, especially because you're giving them something to work with, 
And then finally, occupation. If you want to pitch your business, if you want to find other people that are good about your business, I could have, maybe I'll cut this into a longer video for specifically towards growing another business, but you can use the same example here is, listen, uh, I've been working with so-and-so who's a realtor and they've just been crushing it in this business of mine. Do you know any other realtors that maybe would want to make some money on the side? Something along those lines. So keep it in one occupation or one genre rather than, hey, you don't know anybody that wants to make money on the side. You, it's That's too general. You want to keep it small. You want to keep it targeted so you can keep growing your network in different directions and you can focus on creating product sales and commissions that are coming in. And guess what? A lot of those times, people end up being not just a customer, but they'll be a business partner with you as well once you build that relationship. So guys, that's it for today. See you around. See you next video. Take care.